Yeah, I see him. Be great. We should do it for his because he's got these spreadsheets. I can't share them from here. Jesse. It says Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. So, oh, really? Oh, it's wrong. Really issue. He can hear you. <laughs> I can't share you. Show it. I'll share it when I get when I join the meeting on my computer. I'll share it and it'll pop up there. Very cool. All right, you get the building. Somebody told somebody put it back in my thing. Sometimes they don't want to. They're a flight crew. Thank you. You heard from us. Lucky by the Okay, I don't know. Sir, I'm going to be the next one. I'm going to be the next one. I'm going to be the next one. I'm the next one. I'm going to be 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 the next one. I'm going to Hey, Mark. Hey, can you tell me? No, it's right now. Uh, okay, now let's go for the team. <laughs> All right. Um, We'll get started with some announcements. Yeah. Uh, okay, sounds so good. Yeah, I'll say we'll start with just a regular announcement. We don't need for that. Okay. She's has to start. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're right. Okay. Yes, I mean, the one of your things to I just decided to do Come on, teams and part that. What? Go to your teams calendar and click that one. That's the right one. Not your regular Outlook calendar, your teams calendar. Okay. Oh, you are? Okay. <laughs> okay. Randy, you're going to box on his way. Um, uh, he said he's in a few minutes, so if you want to go and get started with the announcements and stuff, we're going to call it order until he gets here. Do we have it? 
First thing, I guess, is public comments. Are there any public comments? We have any announcements that they want to make? Yeah, we can start. I'll get a couple of things just real quick. Um, okay, let's do it. Hey, the folks that are on the line, is there a lot of. Uh, uh, yes, we can hear you. We can hear you some on Teams. I think someone was talking also on mute. Okay. Okay. All right. So a couple of quick announcements. Um, Uh, one thing, a couple of weeks ago, we hosted the uh, Monday qualifier for the workshop over here. Uh, here in Auburn, and all the feedback was phenomenal. Ray was out here trying to help with that. Um, I, mean, I don't think we've had a little success to that, so I'm kind of putting that up. And, uh, the feedback from the players was phenomenal. Um, we, uh, uh, the court drawing did a fantastic job, uh, of course, in great shape. So that was a huge success for us. Um, so I want to say to so Scott, Ron, everybody involved in the legal day program. Um, a couple of updates. So we're not really going to talk about it today. The clubhouse updates. Um, tenants, if you've been there, if you that in a couple of weeks, they've really done again. They started getting a simulator room. They've got a hole in the wall from the entrance to that. They're getting that room ready. They're starting on the outside of the building. Um, so they're, they're trucking right along. They're looking at three months ago. Um, hopefully, they'll stay on that time run. Um, that we put down then it was probably in the end of the first couple weeks of September uh, the case completed. At Mac, I think we mentioned last time we went back to Kevin. Start over with that project, but we Kevin and I Kevin didn't really kind of leave a point of getting the gig, so we're getting ready to start the paint. Uh, locking the paint was made that before he got the cylinder ready. Um, got people coming out the next few days to be close on the window replacements and the door. So. Um, it'll start to have a longer day over the next three weeks. At Sarah, we got the counters open, everything's there. We're waiting on when the Decker electric to come up and have the data cables and hot tape hook goes up. Then we can move it, put the other counter on it, and it'll be completely done. Maybe we'll try to Just tomorrow. Okay. And then we got uh, the kitchen. We've got Snow. We have Kevin has got in the kitchen. Um, we've got all the new stuff in, yeah, ready to go again, waiting on the Decker when they come out to do that. We're going to make a Electric and pass to come over there. I mean, down. So, um, um, so, so that kid's in North Carolina. You really want to say, but once that's done, he's actually the second place play that we're ready to So, moving on that. We have a demo of the cards here today. They're on the course. The guys from that side. I can go ahead and tell you now. We're going to Yamaha tomorrow. Um, we will be on the hall. That's the. Uh, City Council approval is tomorrow. Um, as soon as they sign off, they have to the leave all the college when they get all came off the course. They're going to bring it up with the guys to see. So, the car is going to be back on the ground. Um, the junior tour is the sixth one that's competitive with junior tour. We have about 50 kids overall that compete each Sunday to get in a championship. All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Tucker Bay's race to lose. Fifth week. Okay. We have one more week to make them the championship, and then the four top players on each age group will compete on the itself as a chasing out. So, uh, I think great turn on three kids are very invested. Their parents are very interested in the fun thing to do. So, uh, that's, that's going to be nice. 12 year old shot still stealing some texts last week. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was anonymous because I had to look at the other doors. That's what you're saying. On August 4th, we're, we have the uh, offer appreciation day here uh, a couple months ago. It was a big success. So on August 4th, we're going to have a junior golf day um, at Tips. They'll be on the driving range, trying to set up stuff set up out there for the kids. It's on a Friday from 5 to 9. 
Uh, we're going to bring some college coaches out, some high school coaches, talk to your kids about if you want to play college golf, you know, golf, whatever it takes. This kind of gives them some nips in the box. I think we've got all kind of play the game as long as you shut up. So that's going to be a good day. We'd love to have you all out of that. Um, the last thing, I want to get into the financial minute, but we hit a record of eight hundred and seven thousand dollars in opening for the month of June. By far, the biggest month in golf's been that's ever had. Uh, uh, kudos to staff. I can't say it's, it's been an absolute circus. And uh, yeah, PLS, PLS systems go down on days where we had two, uh, nearly a thousand rounds. I'm trying to navigate that. We're trying to get through that. Uh, these guys did a fantastic job. Um, we also had the biggest net revenue, the biggest profit for Robin, who's ever had it's two thousand, I think, out of one more time. Profit. So, so, so uh, really good, but we're going to spend most of the rest of the week talking about how we're going to spend that money. Well, I got a heck of a lot of great you guys. Yeah, all I got. Yeah, all I got. Yeah. One more thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you. 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 That's what I'm reading. I don't want to do it. 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 I don't want to do and I feel like this is when you can capitalize in the revenue in that area. Uh, and I think you guys were talking about getting some new oven, some of the yeah. convection and micro, I don't know what they are. Yeah, so good. I, I was just gonna see if yeah, yeah, there's any chance on trying to capitalize on that. Yeah, at, at Sim will be quick. Um here the, the two problems with that. One, we have to get the Ready for that? It takes a different amount of blood to go through, so you'll then delay through a lot of preparation before you go to the city process and everything. Uh, so, you got to staff here. We've had a quick uh, kitchen position open at a higher pay rate for six weeks, six, eight weeks, and had zero applicants that have any experience at all. Yeah, and Jim that had experience, and neither of them answered my calls or emails. Three weeks. So, where we've been. I mean, here we're ready to expand the but we have to have somebody that could be in this aspect of one day or two to actually call the group. But what we ask, so we got the mini rig, and there's waiting on we really want to blend one person that's kind of a SB manager in position, take that over and run with it. Um, and we hopefully, or you were just talking about what's meeting and tweet that job advertising, we can get it to we can get someone else, get some life. So, um, I would say soon with the three weeks as possible. With the and then back, we'll get ready to carry that place apart. So, yeah, we'll have some done. Um, this, 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 this is big season. This one, yeah, so many people come to this. this one. Now, we, as, as you know, we, we kind of take care of ourselves and talk about this thing, expecting, expecting that it's all going to be in place two months ago. Um, no matter how much you know, you never expect a slow to see. You know it's going to be slow, you know, you're ready for that, and it's also slow. So, um, yeah, we're going to get a little slower. And uh, the car can't be set up until the end of the month. So, you said Mac was going to get the first gas cars because they were in the most dark with yeah. And then, uh, how soon do you expect all of the courses to have for us? By the end of the year. By the end of the year. Yeah. Um, and what we're going to do, we'll deliver the first batch to Mac, and then we'll take the, the good parts that yeah. Mac does have to fill in some of the gas. Maybe it's in Texas, not in too bad shape, but we can make the places where they're more beat up cars. Um, and then we'll just continue that process until all of them are out of here. So we're looking at definitely in August. I just talked to. Um, I'm all grab me so that it's still holding for early early August, um, but definitely you know, just for the first delivery, it'll be a request. Please, I can let you know. Thank you. 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 Th
to the food service site, we know we have to buy a back to the food service site. Uh, you know, a lot of the food service industry is kind of in trouble on what you have to are we competitive price wise with someone? Yeah. No. I'm sure y'all don't decide that. Yeah, and no, there, so basically you have golf classifications. There are only a lot of so many of certain types. So even the, the highest paying position we have would be 15 or something like that. Yeah, was our big plant position was supposed to go up to 17. Go okay. so, uh, use the job I left to take this. My top picks will make it. Oh, well, sure. Yeah. Now we're, we're not going to do that and say, so I had reclassified a position last year. They probably took four months, four months and with us trying to do that, we're going to talk about that too. I really want to reclassify almost all of the golf positions. For some reason it did not get done for several years, so when everybody has been going up all the line, um, that involves 10 HR people, 10 revenue people, 10 finance people, 15 approvals, 37 meetings. Um, but that's something I want to start with small and try to get in place. But if you get some light interest to the start of the fiscal year, we'll accept more people to make money instead of this year. Trying to see that, trying to change that. In the third quarter, we'll have to be prepared to take a note. It's easy to do one at a time. Okay. Um, and then the other one is the Sunday 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 so uh, now as far as that the extra stuff that day it wasn't like that, but it didn't bring a lot of uh, revenue. So it was it's almost as much of a marketing thing to sit on there. Um uh, I did going back to the staff you just one other week out, I did get everyone switch where no one in the office would be making money to that they weren't like 132 or something like that. So we did that first step last winter, I guess it was. Um, just to get to that, was a few more chill. Yeah, so we dropped $10 is a bad limit. Unless they golf and have a reason, that's their only benefit to work here is free golf. Yeah, they're not golfers, they're really nice. And we're about to get it. Our school starts back in that part of that, which is still at. Two or three extremely big moments after that. The distraction was fast. We're trying to figure that out. Um, they have to put a year, I feel like every year it gets harder and harder. Three weeks out, seven hours. Yeah. 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 And then on the maintenance side, it's like every job we have basically got support in that. I'll get you one. So something that we are looking at the actual budget. And it was we have as far as our budget, our labor expenses are right. We don't drive more like no green like that. We don't want to position for that. That's not the problem. It's you have to reclassify the position. It's the process. It's not like we don't have the money. It's going through all the processes for that. Okay. Okay. Uh, so this is for the month of through the month of June. You can look at the number of rounds. We're at 93,903 rounds. That, yeah, that, that makes no sense. We, we had 80,000 at this point last year, and last year we were we thought there's no way anybody else can load off, and we're 13,000, 14,000 rounds a day. Um, 70 or something been something last year. So participation was not a part of our issue. Looking at June in particular, again, record month, we had 20, almost 25,000 rounds, 24,285 rounds. 8% of over the last year. Um, and again, last year we're, we're competing against record year. So um it's incredible what, what's happening with the courses. Um got off at the bottom. But the uh year-to-day car rentals is 
672, that number that's cut out. So $648,000 compared to the 588 last year. So um, $90,000 increase over last year. Of course, the $2 of that goes into that car replacement fund. So we uh, really going to chip there. Um, but just phenomenal numbers. If you look every course compared to last year's so 2020. More about so those 23 numbers include the other UPS. They do, yeah. Did he start to? Yes, food and beverage. So, even without the things that we're hoping to get done soon, we're still up, um, what is it, $60,000 basically, um, 21% over last year. Um, again, that number can just go up and up and up as we're making changes, but still. Uh, a good increase, and then if you look at 2021, we're coming out of COVID, but we're about what is that, 35,000 dollars over uh, two years ago, and that's third half of the year. So um, we're we're getting there with food and beverage. There's still a huge opportunity there. Driving range, this there, it's up 20, nearly 25,000 um, dollars. Scott can tell you the last two days we were just talking in Texas. The driving range, when it rains like it has been, it's you can't open it because every ball that's hit. So it's been closed and he's been getting all the overflow traffic and his range has been just from one end to the other all day, every day. So uh, driving range is doing great. Um, that's where an opportunity for looking get into the projects in a minute. If we can get something done at text to the driving range, it's definitely a revenue generator. We're turning a lot of people down every day. Whenever. So um, the problem is it rains for two days and then proposed for what three three days after that, probably. So, depending on how long rain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it was a couple of days. It's less than for that. Example, it's like some grass. Irrigation, dirt work. You need to, I mean, you can you can tell us more about it. So yeah, we just need to get some grass basically from the curb. So, not being leveling it, getting some uh, drainage from where it flows away from some of the bad areas. Um, you know, irrigation, steaming, probably adding a lot of topsoil to a lot of topsoil to the But yeah, it's not a small project, it'd be a big project. So, yeah. Yeah. And probably sometime in the offseason. I mean, you're talking the irrigation being installed and wired, and it depends on how long that takes. And then you've got to put in drainage or leveling, and then growing in grass. Yeah, it'd be a few months, a few months at least. There's probably, I don't know, $100,000 in the third. You go out there and start popping. You can't stop. I mean, just keep popping, popping, popping. I mean, they're this deep. This is back. It's a good use term. You know, it's still on the sheet. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Because, I mean, just, just look at these numbers. Obviously, driving the Yeah. The expense out of this. So that's been something we can look into for sure. Yeah. yeah. Small it gave us a moment in wandering and irrigation. But I, I don't know. I have no idea where it costs us. It's a lot of time. Yeah. And that's a, yeah. They, they would be the bigger area. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, is it something we could put that in some of the batteries? Or would it be? Just time wise, we're talking about the driving range. You know, I'm trying to figure out what to do to when it rains, we're not closing it for three or four days, and then we open it, we're losing all the golf ball. Basically, what you want to do is put it and regrade it. Yeah, the irrigation system, and it's got to get grass on it. Yeah, plain and simple. I don't have grass, you won't get it. If you don't have irrigation, you're not going to grass. So yeah, also we're talking about all that saying he was saying it would have to be closed for several months. That's possible. Yeah. Yeah, um, you know, if you could walk into a home to get them to that's yeah, this this 
They're always doing that when they reach for the puffin. Thank you. Well, they're going to wait in Turkey. Thank you. Yeah. Well, we can look into. Um, we'll talk more about that here shortly. Uh, merchandise, these guys are just rolling stuff out of the pro shop. Sam obviously is down 14% because I have not given him the pro shop yet. It's been, I've had crap scattered, counters, and shells, and everything scattered. So he's not really had a chance to get over yet. Um, but take that out. Everybody else is it's just rolling through compared to last year. All right. Membership count. Oh, one thing I should have known the announcement. So memberships are, they're up. This is at the end of June. We started the new membership increase, obviously, on the 1st of July. Um, I will quit before I go through that process again. Precarious. And we'll follow Kevin and Shannon. <laughs> that was the most complicated thing I've ever been through in my life. We had to go through um, 2,000 individual accounts. If it was to fill out a form, take their form, look at their account, see if they're out of their first year, make sure their membership was everything was correct, and change them all individually. Some people were submitting five forms, three of them were declined, and two of them were accepted. So you don't, okay, I don't have clues. Um, then with CPS, when we went to run the with our computer system, when we went to run the payments, it switched everyone back. That whole month worth of work was raised with start over and scramble. Uh, we're going to have several weeks of just people like today. We probably had 15 people email saying they were on the wrong membership or something. They, they accepted it, but it didn't charge them, whatever. So it's going to take a few weeks to get everybody where we need to be. The good news is we I think we're 90% squared away right now, which is after all that crap we're pretty happy with. Uh, it's just going to take a few weeks as people let us know, hey, something's all right. We're, we're trying to keep it going. But, uh, we did run the batch. We were in the, the payments. The numbers are pretty close to what they should be. So uh, best we can tell. Um, so I, I do think we're close. But yeah, that's been an absolute nightmare. So we'll see um, at the end of July. We did probably have 120 that declined. Um, they did not really keep their membership, which is expected. Uh, but we also have added a ton of people. So I, we really didn't think that big of a hit. And with the increase in cost, I think we'll end up that positive and then we're continuously having their membership. We took the, the membership, uh, if someone that didn't have a membership, if they wanted to add, start a new membership, we took that down for a few days just to get us caught up. And we had a ton of people calling and say, hey, I want a membership. I, could, I can't figure out how to do it. So we're adding a lot of members. It's just, uh, <laughs> that was a lot of, a lot of anger went into that project. And on the bright side, Total revenue, again, $807,262. We went through our system in just for the month of June. Um, see the city hall that's going to be here, memberships and some tournament entries for June. Uh, but each course, see Auburn nearly 200,000 here, Texas right behind them, uh, Max M, and Auburn still has a couple of tournaments that the revenue, they mail the check, so they're coming in. Um, so fantastic month as far as. Uh, Right, and lastly, it's kind of hard to see everyone has the problem. Um, 50 percent through the year, our revenue we're at 2,814,000. Um, I'm very happy with that considering January, February, March are the slowest months. Um, it's pretty cold those months, so for the rest of the year, we should be pretty steady. Um, we're on track this month so far through 10 days to hit 800,000 again, depending on weather. Um, and then in August, we have some really big events coming up at several of the courses that will be a lot of revenue. So revenues are really good. Personnel, we're at 50% of our, of our budget. So we're running the number. Um, that number will increase next year. Um, and I will believe that we've already increased $250,000 this year. I'm not sure if that is, that is not shown here. So yeah, we actually have the budget. Um, Practical services were a little bit over, we're at 59%, uh, 549,000. That's a lot of the irrigation work that we've had to do. Uh, materials and supplies were on over 50%. Um, going down where our total expenses were at 52%. Again, we bought 
several pieces of equipment and um, all the irrigation work, and we're still on it. One of our budget with the revenue is way over budget. So, um, very happy with that. Um, overall, our ending position right now is just under 1.5 million. Um, June, July, and August, depending on what we spend, we should be able to have basically $40 million revenue for each one. Um, just broke like 2250000 So, um, just regular expenses. If we didn't buy a ton of equipment or do a bunch of projects, we should be somewhere around, about to jump the gun, 2.1, 2.2 million by the end of September. Uh, and then we still have October is a big month still, and then it starts kind of slowing down. But, um, so, we're in a good spot. We've got the um, equipment list from Flint. You guys voted to uh, kind of give us a, a amount of the hundred fifty thousand dollars to spend on that we should get that list i think they're going to look at the equipment on wednesday do the audit send out the process hopefully thursday and friday so we'll, we'll know again that's something we're going to have to react to very quickly so um as we go through the kind of the five-year spending plan that's going to change that depending on what equipment we get if we get some energy equipment in that we won't have to buy some new things like this so we're going to be looking at a moving target here in a minute but we'll, we'll do that as we can. What's the status on your uh, computer system? We I met this morning with with um, IP purchasing and finance. Um, we're going through that finalizing that RFP and getting ready to put it out and say that RFP will be out within a month. It takes time to select to get all that done and then we will get that new system in place. I would say November, but if it's realistic, and that would be a better time. It's slower. We don't have 250 people standing at the counter every day while we're trying to work out the that system. So uh, probably November is a good time, frankly. that's implemented, is that going to be this problem that you had in terms of the senior passes, past period, because that's going to happen again. No, no, it won't happen like this. We changed the language in the contract, so it allows us to make changes. The problem this time is the way the contract is written, we couldn't make a change. We had to basically cancel everyone's contract and start a new contract. For them. The way we change the wording in the contract, so if we make a change, if they decline or if they accept, we don't do anything. It's so much easier now. We can just change everybody at one time instead of one person by one person by one person. So, but yes, it would be, we're gonna, we have clean information now, correct information, which is we did not have at all. Um, so it's going to it will be a lot easier going forward. And the, the main benefit to the customers and the staff is we're not going to be waiting 90 seconds every transaction for this computer to catch up. Uh, it operates totally different. I don't want to sound like an idiot because that's not my world, but basically it's going to be cloud based. So it just, when you go to do something, it just pulls the information you need. What I've been told, the way it was explained to me right now, every time we do anything, it sends all of the information we have in our data, database to that computer from Virginia. So I'm sorry, Virginia. Sends it to the computer, it bounces all of that information, bounces off between there, here, and City Hall, and then it pulls the one piece that it needs for that transaction. It does that. 800 times a day in every portion. New system, it just, it's just going to pull what you need will be a lot faster. Um, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's something. It's a, it, our systems, I don't know if anybody played Thursday, our systems were completely down. We didn't have any, our network is completely down. And that was a city thing. It was down the fire, the fire department, the break center, it's a lot of places, but we had no way to do any transaction from about one o'clock to close on Thursday, and it was an extremely rainy day. Uh, <laughs> I don't wish that on anybody. So we, um, I think these guys did a pretty good job. I think we, we ended up squared just the way they were trying to keep up with it all mentally, but um, with that new system, we would be able to go ahead and run the transactions and catch up after we just, a lot of different ways. So if that happens, we wouldn't have to go through that. Speed everything up with the tail. Right. Yeah. The demos we did, they showed us checking someone in. It was literally a second of that. Like, uh, I've used these systems. That's what I've used for 10 years. And then I came here. Couldn't believe it. But I was. It's tough. They have like scattered like they do it. Uh, 
for the application where you can have one of the cards be carried to the chain and they scan that all your information she tries to go through and you know how to type it in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but most of the time when you book a tea time, that automatically comes up. So when you book a tea time, your name is on the tea sheet. So they already have it. Here it's just so slow. It's not it's not them trying to find you. When you book your tea time, you're already there. When they click on that tea time, your information pulls up. It's just so slow. It's, it takes about 45 seconds. Yeah. Uh, he can tell you. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot of the times, Robert, if you do a local app, you do multiple posts. Your information stuff in that app, and it'll say Robert Alexander, but we have to go in and change it because the app we move out of the name on your behalf doesn't have all your information. So you know, we have to go in and we type you to pull your your membership information. Oh, okay, I've seen a few times they have to say how to spell that. Uh, so I know a way we can improve that perhaps scan. And another thing with the new system, we have a lot of duplicate, duplicate accounts. So, Robert, Robert Alexander, you may have seven accounts where only basically three, at least one of only one of them is your actual account. So, with that new system, I've been through it a lot of times. You clean all that up, so we get through it. So, that's a big problem. If someone comes up, especially if their name is John Smith, there's 14 of them. I mean, it's a nightmare trying to get the problem. So. Mr. Yeah, we have. You know, now we've got we've got really three leading candidates that meet all of our requirements and a couple more that could. Um, so yeah, we'll put the RFP and they'll submit. Here's what we're going to offer. We'll, we'll basically have them come in. It's almost like a job interview. They can share present to us then. Um, we we go back and have a great other budget. That's my concern. Yeah. 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 Even even if I knew 100% this is how I want to go, we have to. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So. And the RFP, I think I've mentioned it a little bit earlier in the day. It's 86 pages. So. Yeah, French. Yeah, I don't. I don't even know. Most of it's IT. Like, most of it's IT related stuff. So I, I'm relying on like IT guy here. Like I don't know. There's 86 pages for this. So, but we, I think they've got their section done. Um, I got to fill a few blanks. I'm gonna set the first thing next week. It's gonna go to the line all the that that RFP. Make sure it all the truck figured it out. Go there. And to be honest, with the cards, the renovations, the membership change. Kind of just let's, we really don't want to do that until the winter time anyway. So let's get a couple of these things going and then we'll switch back to it. So that's what we're at. Speaking of cards, what's the stage? When you relate your word here, you don't get to know. <laughs> I don't want to say I had a senior moment that I think is a super senior moment. I'm not sure. I told, I told Robert, I told him what the date was, and then I never looked at the calendar. I didn't tell him. And on all the cards, so I can. So I can say now we went with the Omaha. Uh, there, tomorrow, the morning council will, will approve it, and then that's done. Um, the demo, actually, the Omaha, there's some people playing right now. I mean, it was, they're on two of the demos. When they get done, they're going to bring it up here. The best. Um, but they're looking at hopefully the first week of August, but definitely August for a delivery day. And then there'll be four to six weeks of future course after that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm to get it. We don't have to listen to any more questions on that. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Electric ones coming in last. Uh, they're going to be somewhere in the middle. So yeah, they're kind of the figure. So before the end of the year for sure, but it, it could be the end of August or it could be the first of November. Yeah. Got yeah. it. Did you discuss what input in terms of getting to the council with CIT? We're going to talk about that in a second. Yeah. Okay, anything else on the topic? Oh, next thing on the list is project planning workshop. Here we go.
Okay. <laughs> so trying to figure out how to put this together and do it in a way where we can kind of keep this meeting moving without chaos and try to put the word out. Uh, put together a list. Let me kind of explain. So I've got tabs across the bottom on the master list and then each year. So uh, I've uh, like changed all the different years to a different color. So everything and what I did, I took all of these different projects. I'm going to go through kind of individually real quick in a second. Um, but I kind of put them in a year, the, the way of kind of order and importance that I see them, and then we can discuss it and I can move those around. But I just wanted to kind of have a base so we had something to work off of. So the, the top section and stuff we'll do this year, and then it goes 24, 25, 26, 27. The things on the bottom in white are things that either I don't know how to cross out or um, things that I've really wanted your input on. I'm not sure. Where, where should this go? So let's just kind of go through. So thanks for this year. I'm looking at um, Sam definitely needs a rough mower. Uh, they're a, they bought one hustler uh, kind of zero turn mower. He would like to have one more to keep up with the rough, and that's something that we could get right away. It's twenty seven thousand um, dollars, and it would help him tremendously, especially now that he's borderline got a little bit more step. Um, it's just it's a, it's so hard for him to keep up with the equipment he has. So I would like to get that. The hitting bays for Sam. Let me well, let me stop sharing this for one second and show you what I'm looking at. Um, I don't know if people online can see this, but this is what I'm looking at possibly. Um, I think I have a donor. I don't say it yet, but I think I have a donor that would pay for this. Um, but we could put these, so, you know, Sim doesn't have the driving range. People are constantly wanting to warm up or they go on the course and start hitting balls down the fairway. And we have to go, go get them uh, constantly. Uh, but this would give them something to at least warm up on. Um, I had some similar to this in Virginia. It was used all day, every day. Um, we actually sold, money, sold balls just like the driving range. Um, you basically just rent out the bay for a little bit, very expensive, but uh, it would be something to, to give people a place to warm up. So that's what I, what I say. We're looking at that. Um, let's figure that out. We'll, it, we'll, even if it was a corner of the parking lot into the grass or something, we could, we could come into it a little bit. But yeah, I can talk about it. Yeah, I want to stand. Yeah. So, that's what that is. Um, Rebuilding. Sorry, just have to get an idea for your presentation. So, for your five-year plan, maybe you're presenting it's going to be like this, like a bunch of different items you're going to get here. Well, well, I'll clean it up once we get through today. So, what I've done across the bottom, I've kind of put each year as what it is, um, and then with the total cost at the bottom. Yeah. Again, we'll go through this. All this will change, I'm sure, throughout the course of this meeting. But, and then for the presentation, it'll be a lot cleaner. Yeah. So. Um, and Sam really want to rebuild the tea boxes. Um, that's something we're, we're guessing. Uh, what do you say, Darren, per tea box? Like two or three thousand, probably. Um, that's something that would be done over time. Um, but I'd like to go in and get started this year. Um, it'll be closer to the end of the year. Um, uh, but rebuilding, we've got one, two, three, four, six tea boxes that are really need to be redone. Um, so I've got that at 24,000. Oh, sorry, let me back up here. So we've got the project over here, to here, the category here, just obvious equipment, building, course improvement, the course, the estimated cost, the benefit to the customer and to us, and then if there are any factors, like if it's safety, if it's revenue generated, if it's new addition, something we don't have, um, kind of plug that in as well. Question. Question. Yeah, two more. What kind of love more? So, and you're jumping way ahead of me. Uh, the first item. Oh, you're, you're going behind me because I skipped it. Oh, uh, rough mower is a drum zone in here. Yeah, it's looking at. Oh, no. Okay. Forget that, too. They shouldn't be there. That was me prioritizing the equipment. That, too, shouldn't be there. So, ignore that. So, the rough mower, he's looking at a hustler. Uh, it's, he bought one. We got bought one. Late last year, uh, we just want one more just like that. Okay, question if you get if you get the floating heads, those forty five hundred of the plant, that's the price. Yeah, that's what 
before you before we talked about that before you got here there's a lot of stuff with flint that we don't know that we're going to get so i've just built this without that being a factor now once we get some of that equipment hopefully i'll be able to change this little. i have a question for us if we do build that away are you going to retire and look real one Yes. They would retire those because they're not very efficient. Yes. Operator off of that, you can get better value. Okay. Um, here we've got some doors mainly on that side that we need to replace, five thousand dollars. That's an estimate. Um, yeah, I really think we could do it cheaper than that, but uh, that's something I want to do pretty quick. Um Text this really shouldn't even be on here. Fifteen hundred dollars. We need a new gate in the back for the cards and intercom system for text and set to you so far away. Um, again, pretty inexpensive. And then a bit nursery at Sinem. Uh, I was talking to Darren this morning to get that started. It's a lot of work. It's not a lot of cost. So I think that's something we're going to start working on um, getting that that started this year. Uh, Question for you, Nicole. Yeah. The doors item. I saw that was it for Auburn? Yeah, 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 Auburn. yeah Auburn. Uh, Is that part of the McDonald Park rehab? Is that a part of the yeah. thing? Yeah, we've got a meeting with contractors tomorrow to come give us a quote and get that done. Yeah, that's part of it. So in 2023, as um, always into a stage, uh, the ponds have the algae, the trash, and smelling. What's the plan here? So, you know, my Mac, Mac specifically right now is the worst one. We um, he sprayed a ton of algaecide in there to see if that would make a difference and it helped a little bit. Not, um, this one I like to like the soil. Yeah, um, I noticed tax in other places. Too. Yeah, we put. We, we've also we're also looking at some. Um, Fountains, some fountains that basically you have solar panels on the bank so you don't run electricity. Solar panels set on the bank and run the fountain to keep that, that circulating. We're working right now to try to figure out what size we need to be efficient. I mean, they've got small ones up, you know, up to massive ones. So we're trying to figure out what what size we need to do that. Um, so that's something we look at. It. Though that's stuff that I would do that would be on this So I don't think it would be that expensive. Um, I don't know if that's the same version of whatever it's like. Probably not very effective way to do that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, and then also for the algae, we were talking, he put at the text, he put some uh, carp and some koi fish in there to plant that stuff, and it's made a big difference. So we were going to add that back and look for the ponds potentially. So, um, yeah, I don't know why I mean, somebody smart can, can tell me why that's so bad right now all of a sudden, but I know it's a major, major problem. It's just still that way that right now. Yeah. It was, I mean, water on these flesh foods are, what's that? It's all that water, the flesh foods are, and, and why is it, it's, yeah, uh, there's a bill trash that I'm going to say it's not a I say you have a tax to them, borrow the swamp in the south end of the tax. Wait, smell that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll say if you're there. I'll send Kevin, but you know. So that that's I don't know what the the fountains I definitely want to have, but you're gonna to have to get it somewhat clean before you do it. Right. So we're trying to we're trying to figure out what to do. He's probably six Ron sprayed that out the side of it. It didn't do much. So I recommend skimming it. I mean that's one way to get some that surface can crack off there on very quickly. I won't Browser, I get to see what you call it. Well, I'm trying to try it. A little, a little, sorry, it's pretty sick. So, I figured out how to make it. So, yeah. Um, I'll go through it pretty quick. So, on the equipment, the numbers beside it, ignore those. And that was me making those. So, sprayer and sim um, for next year, potentially. 
uh, in a bumper rate, uh, the bumpers getting some work, the other one, and obviously a fence around the shop. The shop's been broken into a lot. Um, and then in addition to the shop, we have a lot of equipment outside, it just doesn't have enough work. Um, so some some improvements to the shop at Sim. Um, and then AC replacement, almost all of our HVAC systems at all the clubhouses are at the end of their life. We had to replace one at FAC that went out. We got one out at Tex right now. Um, they're you know, they're going to replace that. So definitely going to have to be done. Uh, the Zoysia Nursery was brought up. I don't know how to process that. Could someone kind of help me on what, what it will take to get that going? Basically, it's on those in house. You can think about uh, where uh, and you just. So you can probably buy sprigs and spring it unless you want to try some seeds. Well, it depends on the area you want to put in as your age going. Yeah. It's set up for it. If you've got an area that's irrigated and ready to go, yeah, it's going to be that much, but you can do it without even going for it. Okay. Well, Sam is pretty good. There are ways, what's the way this would be? Oh, I see. I was going to talk about Sam. Sorry. Yeah, we were talking about the west side of number six. There's a that's where the well is. There's a big open spot. I don't know if I can use that land. I want to see if I can. Parks own own that land, and they don't own it. They don't do anything with it. So I want to see if I can. I can use it. We're just talking about that an hour ago. So, but if you don't have creation, they want to get some right there. It was brought up several years ago. The two full time. Initially, they were talking about the north side of number five. It's the last of the part of that. That's all part number two, of course. I the irrigation is better. It's effective. So, yeah, again, it just takes bodies and, you know, plain, pipe, wiring, heads, south side of the pond. Okay, I've got like 70 of these. Let me, let me order through these real quick. Uh, bait mower at, here at Auburn uh, was about 40,000. A shed for the range dispenser, the one we put it back has been. People love that. It's so much easier on the staff, so much better for the customers. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of put a uh, range dispenser shed here in at Tex. Uh, Rip wrap on number seven pond at Tex. The guess on that is between 40 and 50,000. Um, but it, it needs a driving range mat. So that would be a huge improvement to the range. I've got that at Tex and here. Um, yeah, right here. Yeah. So. Um, obviously, up for the concrete, that's the major expense there. But we priced it out here, and it was it actually was not going to be that bad. Um, Zoysia T conversion, this is that tech. So, on all the non part three, switch the T's over to Zoysia. Um, 30, did we talk about this one? 30,000 is that a good guess? Yeah, okay. Um, and T mower at tech, it's about 40,000. Great for the trap. This is Sam Pro, kind of a deal with it. 10,000. Uh, Rover, uh, Tex, that's about 10,000. And a spreader, about 15,000. Uh, the shed in Tex also, we have a machine, so that would actually be a little cheaper. Than that. And I think 8,000, I actually think that's a little, probably a little high. It's a simple school building. Um, HVAC, three units in Tex, one of those actually is. Can't replace right now, so that'll come down a little bit. Um, uh, rough mower and back 25, same one you're looking at it soon, and then Matt's good at all the Again, I'll go back year by year and talk about this. It's good for your team mower. So, looking at 25, uh, it's seen a team mower and a bank mower, and about 40,000 a piece. Very important piece of equipment. Bridge repairs here, that's a big project that's going to have to be done. Um, that, Starts to become a safety issue. 125,000 is my guess. Does that sound about right? About 40,000 on the bridge. Now those things are outrageous. There's seven years old. Hey, yes. Any idea? Probably the customer. Based on what? 
What's that? Did it give your place that you went to the bank about eight, seven, three? White teams to the radio on the channel. There's three more. All right. Uh, Auburn, um, Rough Mowers, um, spam the shop at text, give them some more limited security. Currently, uh, air fire for text, or I'm sorry, for yeah, text. Uh, sprayer for back and then an air fire for back as well. It's a lot of equipment, but we either don't have equipment we need or the one we have is broken down. So there's a lot of equipment on this list, but it's one better course we've got to have the equipment to do it. Um, 26, we're going to have a sprayer for all the hills. Um, set up just got to spray to the text. It's, it's nice. It's much more efficient than the way that the what we're doing. Um, bunker upgrade at Tech's. We really like to do that. I've been through this, I guess, about 200,000. Um, I paid a little more than that. The last one I did in Virginia, but it had a lot of bunkers. So, uh, basically, that's a complete bunker innovation, putting the either the better building bunker in capital and concrete or whatever. Um, so the drainage is much better. That's the major problem with this drainage the bunker. So you can, um, basically dig them out. Build them up the way they're supposed to be, so it's much easier, easier to maintain and a lot better for, for the guests. Um, it's a big project, to turn it out. Um, back heavy duty work cart, and Ron and these guys, they've kind of laid out their equipment needs for advertising. That's where I've what kind of went on the here. Um, at Mac, there's a separate building, um, tear down, and we'd like to tear that down and replace it. It's old, it's, it's you can probably push it hard enough, uh, make it fall down, but. Um, the concrete is there. All we would have to do is just put a new building in that spot. Um, first one said. 27. Again, as you get farther out, it's a lot harder to, to do this. So, greens mower, or back, fairway mower. Um, and here's where I put driving range, reshaping irrigation. Now, that's we don't want to wait that long, but I, with everything else we need, I don't mind to fit that in. Um, I put 75,000. I don't know. Slides out here. That may not even be close to what it would take. I don't know. I know we can lose revenue while it's down. Um, actually, I don't know if we would. Apparently, they just come here instead of going this. So. Um, and then 28, we're getting way down the road, rough mower at Mac and sand trap improvement at uh, Mac, redoing the bunkers like we were talking about in terms. Of. Things I haven't read here are irrigation replacements that we would need to do if we don't get CF. Um, there'll be a lot more than this, but this is just some things that um, Matt, at Mac, Ron got a quote for replacing uh, the uh, satellites that were and all that, and it was uh, about one hundred sixty thousand. So I'm putting one hundred seventy five thousand. Um, again, if we do the irrigation, we won't have to do that. Hopefully, that's what we got. So I put that in red because I don't know where to. So the stuff that I have not really assigned a year to, or some of it I don't have the call. So we've got irrigation with drainage. You're looking at eight million dollars. It's on all the courses. I can tell you, I did not. They put out a thing this weekend for CIP, and it was not there. It was a um, CIP, uh, like a proposed CIP project. It's not the final draft, but they finally put it out this week. Uh, we had a meeting with all the staff this morning, and it was kind of brought up. No one had seen that, and no one had just put it out. and the comment was made was, I know everyone's interested in this because we've been kept in the dark. About this. So, kind of, no one really had any idea of what's going to be on that. And then they put it out this week. So, they're saying, okay. I guess, budget, city budgeting, I guess. So, after our last meeting, I contacted two different city council people to ask them to pay, if you make their forward to that, like the setting store to it, you know what I'm doing for the So, I think you know that I 
were no health council members who had told them that we were a little charted that we would make a recommendation that doesn't even get to the city council. It's supposed to be the branch line of communication. And uh, the vice mayor did respond to me, said well, he would make sure that that was in the conversation, the irrigation was in the conversation with the CIP by himself. And so I think that was from Michael Watson. So that's right. So there again, if, if we don't get that CIP funding, I don't mean, this list is going to go from 70 to 3. I mean, I don't know how we pay for anything. But yeah, I'll do it. It's all useless to try to do anything. You don't get that. Yeah. Um, Car path repair was another big one. Again, here, not so bad. Focused on the other three courses. I put a budget of $100,000 per course. Again, this is all just kind of like somewhat educated guess. Um, and maybe we try to tackle one course per per year. I don't know how. This is why I left it on this page because I don't. I don't know how you guys think we ought to proceed with that. You know, it's a big issue. Uh, maybe we should do it in small chunks, or if we should do it, knock out one course, knock out another course the next year. Or how? What do you think? The worst that I've noticed, and I may not know have the tax and sim here. I have a different map lately, but tax is the one that stands out to me and the the park path down one coming up by uh, three, nine, ten, yeah, eight, 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 eight. There are a couple of places that it's just, I, it needs to be something to happen, right? Yeah. Um, especially the new cars, you know, the it beats those cars. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, their map has definitely got some bad spots. Uh, a lot of, there's one spot where you're coming, if you're not looking, you're coming off the ground. Right? It's a right, you're going straight up. You know? um, so, I don't recall ever really being at Sim and just thinking, wow, this is horrible. Um, there's some spots that have been There's so many secrets. Oh, I'm sure. I'm Well, team boss. I mean, but I, 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 I believe we're about to text. Oh, I would go to Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. What are your thoughts on how to proceed with that? It's a, it's a big chunk of money, but it needs to be done. It's a big chunk of money, but I think it's something that it's going to go to everything else. You can't put band aids on it. Like, you're going to have to fix portions of it. Right. Like number one in tax yeah. uh, would be one of the first ones I would think. Yeah. Something else might have a different idea about that. But, um, I would say little by little, like I don't think we can put it all of the time. So that's would be my recommendation. I think the first the worst one, they got how much that calls to get those knocked out so they don't run into the cars. Yeah. What I'm going to do, I'll send this out and you know, give me about a week to um, measure out the spots on the courses that I think are the worst. I'm going to put that together, send it out in detail to as many military bonds as people are going to go through. Um, erosion around Vaughn at Auburn Hills. That's another thing we did. I didn't really get to ask for. Oh, oh like I mentioned, we had a huge irrigation leak. Today at here, we have no irrigation right now. Um, about number three, the main line busted. Uh, he's been out there all day. He's got some help coming in tomorrow to try to get the fix, but maybe two or three days of 95 degree weather will be no water. And this is what we're going to run into more and more and more. Um, it's just the newest combinations. Yeah, I mean, it's terrifying. That happens at the wrong time. You're down for a week, you're, you're dead. So, um, yeah, so was that the erosion around the pond? I have no idea to pass that out. Oh, you know, really I'm going to go. You know how costly it was to do the rock thing or text where they put rocks along that whole bank or a big. We, we did that in house, it was probably 10,000. 
and they got the rock from was we had we had the rock from the city, big rock, but we just had buy the crab and the sand get back. Um, but yeah, the big rock probably would have been just two hundred thousand if you wanted to have the Yeah, Seth and Grant saved us forty million dollars on that. But we won't we won't do that another one right now. We want one seven as well. But because we still have some of that rock left over. But yeah, if we had to buy that, if we had to buy a river wrap, uh, we're talking this pricey. I had nothing that would bring me to the park. Yeah, it was, we came out of the stuff of screen up and flow, the prevention, the water, and they pulled it out. So yeah, I think it's a jungle. It's a sit new pipe here. I think we're going to have some big water. I don't want to go to the museum or stuff or something. I just some travel The rip wrap that we paid for on the three on the other side last year cost us. Thousand. That's what that's yes, yeah, that, that will work. Okay, it's not even on the coffee board side, that's on the home board side. Yeah. Didn't benefit the coffee board quite a bit, but it was 90,000. Now that was then small, okay. Yep, we had a choice for that because it's good. Don't want to help us complain that they were losing property. That was caving in. It's all spring water, but that was here at the time of the spring water. All right, next one was overseas. I know nothing about it, so he goes, he's got it for all horses. You shot it down. Yeah. Shot it down. Yeah. I would have to do it in the text. I wouldn't do it. They're all good. There's better than 20 million class. Yeah. <laughs> right, we donated that. If we donated that. Now they're spending a lot of money. That's a whole other problem. Those two points down get close enough for this summer and for new grass that I don't see. I'm just saying overseeing. Like I said, not here or text, just say we've got to come back. Yeah. So, yeah, so. How would they get their person? Why, why, why is somebody not the others? Like, right? so, so. Well, but in fact, we've been having so much trouble with the, the Bermuda grass center. I probably this spring said that he had a few spots, but it was disaster. Obviously, this court is fine. I don't rank with Sam to assess you. It's this simple fact. So. Basically, that's why I was a little bit strict when I heard we shot it down completely. I wasn't sure if we had talked about it. Shot it down single hand as well. Oh, I don't propose to do those two. But to do that, for these guys, you know, if you're going to oversee that, I thought I'd never see that. What's the reason if you wouldn't see? So, what's the reason you wouldn't see? Money, cause, and you receive it. You receive the liberties. So, if you do that, I mean, you're already spending a ton on water to try to get the seed to come up on a dry year. Like, I don't know how much it should be, but it'd be. But what's the alternative? Listen to a plug, a thank you. Here you should water it better. Get, uh, I mean, the Bermudas, Bermudas have the same problem the Little Rock would have. If we overseed it, we can't water it. Sure. It doesn't matter what you put in, it's going to be dead. Sure. So, so you, don't, the you don't mask the problem with another 
you know, the wrong solution. So okay. this would, would be my So you're not saying no overstays, but it doesn't do any good if you don't have the water. Right. right. If you have a right. better water system and you could the water more, your Bermuda would look a lot better. And it would fill in for the two right. water. Correct. Again, it's based on what you do this summer. You go into the winter looking like hell. Yeah. And then you're going to get the land best. Okay. Well, that's a hard point. I've got some years where it really pay off, and there's other years where you're basically just that he's got enough money for it. You don't get a lot of visit there. Other than the important thing. I know it's hard to talk to the Tennessee was put down in the back last fall, but right with no water. So the spring didn't hardly see it, any of it. Right. Yeah. So they did a small amount of heat. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, to do everything, yeah, to be very, very So to do what, what are we talking about? Say in there, just to clarify that. Well, Ron was talking about overseeing long fair was in Houston. Yeah, that's what we're saying now. Too. Yeah, what's that? Twenty-one acres. Well, uh, I think Texas twenty-five acres. Well, Texas was good. You're too good. You got too much ground. You got too much. <laughs> so what would it cost to do 21 acres where it might be? Just a ball. Based on, let's just say, 10 pounds of a thousand dollars. Reese is all mine. If you needed to ask him is how much it would cost to water. <laughs> because you're seeing the good of yourself, you know, 5 and 10 percent, water is going to be. Hey, uh, Ron, are you from there? Yeah, I'm here. Basically, what it comes down to, I'll make that place look like a million bucks, but it might take a million bucks. So uh, the reason we did, went away with overseeding ryegrass was ba and when all the courses did it and Mac, the cost of water is just. I mean, it's crazy if we if we were trying to maintain ryegrass fairways right now, we we could easily spend two hundred and fifty to three hundred thousand dollars a year on water and they probably still wouldn't look that good. Uh, I know everyone's up in arms about the Bermuda. Yeah, last year, actually the last year and a half, two winters and a year's worth of drought. Uh, you know, Wichita, Kansas is not alone in the boat. Everybody with warm season turf, you know, from anywhere through Kansas down through Texas is hurting. So, uh, yeah, if People think we need to go back to overseeding. Uh, we can do it. It's going to take money. Uh, the amount of time the fairways get mowed through the year is going to make fairway mowers run out twice as fast. Uh, you know, we would be looking mowing fairways middle of March till Thanksgiving. Uh, takes man hours to do that. So takes more fertilizer, maybe fungicide applications on the ryegrass. So there would there would probably be a benefit, but you know, it's a cost versus benefit type thing. You know, if we wouldn't have had the issues we've had, um, heck, three years ago, the fairways were the best thing at McDonald compared to the rest of the course, uh, you know, and, and now it's not. So uh, one of the things that's not good for Bermuda at McDonald is the areas, in many areas that are shaded. That's why I've suggested one of the things we would do a zoysia grass conversion. Uh, you know, the zoysia grass could stand, you know, hold up in the shaded areas much, much better than the Bermuda. So, I mean, it's just one of those things. You want to spend six, seven hundred thousand to put zoysia in at one time, or you want to spend an additional fifty thousand a year trying to do ryegrass. So, it's. Uh, I agree with what Seth said. You know, it's maybe just trying to mask what really needs to be done and not a true solution. There's a lot of expense. A lot of expense. Or the Navy, or we just hope for a better condition going into the winter. But we hope we have a better condition. I'm still figuring stuff out. I just started in here to go tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I was just figuring out the irrigation skills, not the only way that we have. There was. 
pilot and didn't have it for the longest time, but I was figuring out stuff that just shut off. Yeah. Long periods of time. And I was you know trying to get it back, but I ran out of time. So I know that hurt us going into winter. I can say with all the stuff we need to do, I'm on a recommendation or my whatever it be to the whole off of this for a year. Um, I don't think that's up to the topic of the stuff anymore. We did have not this week, like Ron just said, this whole region of the country had to be basically perfect conditions for winter kill and for issues with everything. I, I you know, the whole bit stream. We ease into the cold, we get more rain, and then we ease into the cold instead of going 50, 50, 50, 50, make the 20 for a week. Uh, they really didn't have time to prepare itself. But I think we, we can use that money elsewhere. So we might be. I just don't want to build $200,000 just to hopefully have a little bit better grass for a couple of weeks when it potentially could be good. It'd be great if we were. Oh, yeah, let's go. Okay. Uh, we're not. Okay. All right. Any, any other discussion on that? Anybody disagree? Thank you. Shoot the box. I'm sorry. Explain what you think. Explain what you think. Well, so far, we've tried to speak about that thing. Let's accept it. Yeah. Pretty. You're pretty good. I mean, it's still gonna fill. Yeah. 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 Still yeah. Really yes. It's yes. It almost is. I mean, yeah. stuff on the hills didn't feel as good. But you want to slide or anything? Hey. Oh, speak up. The ominous is on yourself. But the ominous is on you. I mean, you're the one that's going to get the heck for you. I mean, we get it, and then it all goes down. You know, right to you, Cash. You know that. Man. So if you need to have some sod, then you must buy some sod, get the, the bad spots down. Marsh would like to have some ice for our ways to keep waiting. I was going to say, I mean, I don't want to know if that's even an option. Some really bad areas still at sand. Is sod something we can afford and is that a stock cap? Because if you can't water it, it ain't got to go away too much. Well, I, can, well, it's not the water. It's just, I have to go there. and I don't want to explain it anymore. I'm tired. You said, I'm going to say, yes, but I'm going to ask. This system is a block system. I understand. So I'm just saying, you don't have we solved the problem with sod versus seed because I understand your issues with having water on them. So we've been trying to sprig a lot of those areas, which is just like sodding, just you're breaking the sod up. Oh, I know. I saw the troops out there doing that two things. Why is it yeah. not terrible? And you just have to give that time for it to spread. Then you fertilize it and you water it, and it's going to spread. So most of those. Spots should by the end of the summer be filled in. Okay. That's a problem. It's usually fun to system. Fun to values. You can individually water a spot. He can. He turns off the head because 25 or 30 yards are all swapped up. And the only way he can leave it is when he turns it on and go around and he off heads. He has certain spots. Slot's not as hard to bring in as grapes are. Somebody wondering that I'm hearing it said, right? This is mostly the latest thing. Nobody's dropping out, nobody's quitting, nobody's decided not to make two times. And the conditions that I keep hearing every week, well, they're a little better this week, they're a little better this week. So, yeah, I agree. Maybe that's not where we need to spend our money right now. Just yeah. not trusting us. I want, to, I want to be clear. I want to be like, he did walk into the nightmare. So this is more incredibly fun. So I feel like I don't want it to come across like it seems like you know it's just circumstances are where they are. Um yeah, I think 
see what the screen does. Uh, maybe it's getting better. It's going back down. We kind of see if that's something we have certain spots on the side of the hill that we need to get side. We can do that. It's not a huge expense, but we'll monitor it up for a few weeks and see what we can do. Um, again, irrigation system. We have efficient water. It can place it if we need it the way we need it. And we can just water it instead of having to increase that. So, uh, okay. Um, next thing I've got reshape practice screen. This is probably down the road. It's not the most important, but this second practice screen here is the most important piece of property for all of our developers. You can stand on the top of the top of the building under the tunnel. No, it's 135. Um, I would love to read. I don't know what we did. Mop the thing down, reshape it. Yeah, I've heard people say that we should run a cart path around up by where the driving range is, and just go in whole part in. Big ring. Yeah, that would be awesome. We could practice our hundred and eighty foot so that I don't. That's going to take a lot more research, and I don't know what to expect on the cost of that. What else the cost of that? So I said we're probably not really important. Right, right. Yeah. Um, I put this down here, alarm cameras, whatever. I'm been working with IT. We have to have Wi-Fi on these cameras. We don't have it. It's a big mess. So I just put this down here. That's not something you guys, once we get that figured out, or IT gets that figured out, I can just do this. It's not a big expense, but I know that I just left it on here kind of as a reminder. Uh at text, trees along Tyler along the driving range. Um Straight balls go into Tyler. I don't know how many more cars are going to get here. We've had a couple this year, one in particular. Um, I wanted to plant a row of trees or I'm working with forestry right now. We'll get that done. I, don't, I don't know. Uh, I don't think there's going to be much expense. That's something that we're probably going to be forced to do. So if there is some expense, we're just going to have to do it. Here's what we were talking about. What Ringo was talking about. I'm going to turn this back up. That's what we should have straight away converted it. Ron, I'm bringing you back in. What? Kind of price are we talking about? Right? What's that process look like? Yeah, yeah. I'll leave them out. Um, I don't know. Maybe somebody gave them kind of an idea. That's another thing I have not You know, before I left. Lakes and Bridge, we got the bed. We did that. I think that was Strickland. Well, it's on centers. It's 200,000. It looks like you know. How long ago was that? Uh, Eight years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a big one too. I don't think. I mean, it'd be great. I think that goes back to what we're just talking about. Let's see where we're at. Uh, you can get a, a, a USGA consultant. It's about three thousand dollars. They have to come out and do a survey. Which basically be story though. The guys that work through the USGA come out, they do look at the kind of soil you should have. They look at every aspect that affects your golf course and give you a recommendation, like basically a guideline that this is what you need to do for your course to be successful. I've done this twice, and both times they came out and said, basically, you need to double your budget. Um, I don't know, but <laughs> I can't. Um, so there's some useful stuff, but they also work with high and private clubs. So they're, it, we got to get the thing in place that we have to operate. Um, it is beneficial, again, about $3,000 to come out for a course. If we did it for a we could probably do it all for nine to 4000 or something. I don't know if you guys have ever done that. If you have an interest in that, someone brought that up. But you should be just solid. Why? You know, this is an see a thing. I think I'm this What would we get on the map that we're not going to get on? Just a, these guys are experts with another expert perspective on basically every aspect of the agronomy side. It's, 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 all, it's, it's all, yeah, it's all, yeah, it's all your own. So, again, that was, that was like 300,000. Yeah, 
No, everybody's going to tell you here's what they're going to cost you money. Yeah, money for you. What they do is they come out, they look at your facility, they take soil samples of teams, fairways, greens. They go in, they run up the analyzing, they bring it back, and they tell you what, what you need. And they factor in. It's basically the restraints. So it comes down that would eliminate some issue, whatever. I mean, they would bear them. But they're going to tell you the free, you need to spend this much here, this much here. I mean, it's it's just a plan of here's how we're going to do it. what we're working on. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Have you guys ever sat there, Darren, you ever had this? We've done spoil. Yes. Sure. Of course, like that. Yeah. The first one I did, the guy came out and he said, Your budget for your 18 health course is a budget that could run seven years. Yeah, I'm aware. And they basically say, you're doing it. Can't do any of that. So, yeah, yeah, you're also spending money. This is a big one here. Roaming mechanic. I'm definitely in favor of this. Now, this would, again, I'd have to involve people in the city to get that position created and all that. But I think there's a, right now, something breaks. We're having to send it off. We're having to spend money. We're going to pay somebody to do it. It's just a lot of expense that we're spending at all courses. And so if we had a mechanic on staff that would work on the equipment in-house, I think there's a few cost savings there, a lot of time saved from not sending, shipping the equipment and sitting on their lot for five days before they touch it and then having to get it back. Um, I put, I don't know what to expect on cost um, for that, what that would take. So that could kind of help me on that as well. Um, it's probably pretty close. Yeah. I mean, you want somebody to know what they're going to do. Yeah. Like, we, I mean, with some benefits. Sure. Yeah. Once you yeah. figure in benefits and everything, a position some maybe in that, in that ballpark. Say that again, Ron. Yeah, once you figure in the, the benefit and everything, uh, the total cost of that position, that could be in that ballpark. Okay. Yeah, I was, yeah. Yeah, I think it, the pay scale would probably be on level with what our assistants are now. Uh, you can look at what the pay scale is for the mechanics at CMF and, and uh, you know, and that's if it was set up through the city, it would run along those lines. So uh, that's, that's probably a pretty accurate number. Obviously, that's a recurring cost as opposed to most of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the third year, but that's not good. Yes, sure. Yeah, the advice is made before you're spending the system at all. It's a fine, it's a way to come back to something. Come on, so just as you present, say this. Yeah, we have to take a look at the deal your breakdown of what we need to repair equipment on the labor side because we're still going to take it. Oh, yeah, I got a deal. We got it with time to find. We can get a number or something to that. I think I could justify that very easily. I bet so. Um, that's something that I'm probably looking at at the beginning of next year. I guess it's just how they, the repair, and if they're doing maintenance and keeping up with it, have the problems. They're checking the equipment. Is there anyone that this year needs to run out of the same work or whatever? I think that's a good one. And you're going to have a little congressional cost to start up. We're going to have to buy some testing equipment for hydraulics and, and be able to be able to capitalize on the, on the investment. Okay. Uh, we talked about this last time with the retention bond at MAC. That's going to be happening in dollars How much does it say? Well, you know, it's, it all depends on the range. If it don't rain very much, the pond's going to be pretty dry. I'm not going to say a lot. If it doesn't rain a lot, it's going to be full. Cool. You don't need a bunch of water. It doesn't rain. So it's kind of a, it's not like you're in the area. I don't mean it. It doesn't help you in the future. I don't know Ron started some estimates on how much water and what it would say. Well, it, again, it holds a lot of water. You have to drink. So it's, yeah, I was here this morning. They're full today. Yeah. Um, I don't know, you guys I kind of talked about that. Has anybody thought about that before? Any additional thoughts on that? Is there any, I mean, I'm talking about this still any way of getting some kind of conservation money? I mean, instead of using the table, I'm saying that we have any of 
back into the state. Make sure the conservation of the wind. I think another possibility, or it's probably a very slim possibility, but it should definitely be explore, explored, is that when the golf course at McDonald was redone with the retention lakes, it was also part of the stormwater system uh, that was involved with the reasons of doing that. Uh, there would be benefit to the stormwater system if there was another retention lake on the golf course, but uh, getting certain people to go along with that, you know, to have them split the cost, that would probably be, uh, I'm sure there's some people that would not not even want to consider that. But uh, yeah, I've got the numbers in front of me from uh, 2012 through 2018. And, you know, it depends on the year. The percentage of irrigation water that we used, that we, I was able to use from the lakes on holes 12 and 18, the lowest was in 2018, 8% of the total irrigation water came from those lakes. The highest year was 2016, 27% of the irrigation water came from those lakes. Uh, you know, in the city water, uh, the highest percentage in 2012, 53% of the irrigation water was city water, 2014, 49%. Uh, during that period, the lowest year was 2016, 12, 12 and a half percent of the water was city water. And that was the year that 27% was water from 12 and 18 lakes. And that's on top of what is in the, the lake at num on number nine at all times. So uh, the, water? the what's that? You're saying 27% and 16%. So where's the other? It takes the well, it, it's water that we were actually, that was what was in the lakes on number nine where it pumps out of. So, uh, so for instance, 2016, we used just shy of 27 million gallons. So uh, 26, so 40, so about 60% of the water was out of number nine. 27% uh, was from 12 and 18 and 13% was purchased from city water. So for instance, 2014, we used about the same amount of total gallons, but half of it was purchased city water and only 10% was from 12 and 18. So only 40% was from number nine. So main, the main thing is it's the timeliness of the rains. Uh, you know, if right now all the lakes are full, if it gets hot and dry, I've probably got a good, you know, easily three to four weeks of water supply uh, before we'd have to buy city water, start buying city water. So, you know, ideally you get some rains and the ponds fill back up and it greatly, and you know, cuts down on buying city water. But, you know, so every year is different. It's not always how much rain we got during the year. It's the timeliness of the rains to uh, fill the lakes up. When we just started getting when we started getting rains here a while back, I mean, I was at the point, the lakes were all down. In the next day, I was going to turn on and start buying city water at the tune of about fourteen to fifteen hundred dollars a day. We got a couple big thunderstorms, put waters in the lake. We got more, the lakes are all full. So, uh, you know, Mother Nature kind of controls how that happens. And if we're lucky, we get the rains in time to put water in the lakes and not have to buy city water. So uh, basically that the lake were the way we're looking at it, it, it would double the on property storage of water. So like where we've had these rains, the lakes get full, the water's just millions of gallons are running out, never to be seen again. Uh, a year ago, you know, it, uh, if the lakes were full starting out the year, we'd have got one use out of it. So, uh, you know, it just kind of varies from year to year. So it's, you know, if it would save, if it costs four hundred fifty thousand dollars and could knock off thirty to forty thousand dollars off our water bill every year. Yet you know, some years it would be more. It would be a, it would be a good investment for the long term. You know, not just four years, five years, ten years down the road, but twenty and thirty years down the road. I guess my, my thought is 
I spent half a million dollars. You would want something that works for you all the time, not just in the years that you don't need it. And it's a retention problem. So when it rains a lot, yeah, it's going to retain water. It's I do think on, on a year where we didn't need it that much, we would say we could still save 25,000 dollars and the water is on a flow here. A uh, big year when we painted it, we could use it a lot. We're probably fifty thousand dollars, so it would pay for itself, I think, fairly quickly. It's just we have spent one hundred fifty thousand dollars right now. That's that's the problem. We spent last year on sale one hundred eighty-six. Huh? Was one eighty-six? Around those Yeah, that's right. Twenty twelve. Where would it go? It goes kind of between ten and eighteen. Oh, it sounds to me like payback period is still a bit longer. Still longer. Okay, still if you get the conservation with the ball, the one. Yeah, the conservation is helping us out. That would be probably do that. If worst scenario, 18 years to payback. Long time. It sounds like a long time, but in this kind of deal, it's not that, not that long. You look at water or like electric, but. You know, the price of city water is going up at six percent a year every year. So you compound that over the next ten years. You know, our price of city water. I mean, it, it's it's going to get to the point to where, you know, it's it's just going to be ridiculous to even purchase it from the city. So that's my fear. That the price of city water is going to continue to go up a lot. That's going to make that payback period. It's not going to go down. Yeah. Yeah. But how do we spend $450,000 right now? Yeah. That's right. That's, that, I mean, I would be all for this. I just don't know how to spend $450,000. I wonder if it needs out the grant. So, well, that's what I'm looking at. We could use more. That's, that's one of the items that should definitely be considered for capital improvement funds so it's not have to pay not be paid for out of operating budget all in one year. Okay. So, so, yeah, that's a little bit of these scores and grant options. Well, I mean, that was the only CIP thing we were going for, and probably the problem that trying to get. The water doesn't do us any good if we can't get it out in the cell phone, so we have to do that first. Um, let me work with some people and see if I can work with some grants and find them on the grant account money. Yeah. Yeah, no brain. Okay. Ron, while I've got you here, you mentioned that a blue screen machine. What kind of calls are you talking about? Uh, it's a root pruning. It's, a, it's an attachment on a tractor. It will cut. I mean, they say it'll cut roots up to four inches. Uh, I mean, we've got areas, especially on our golf course, I mean, like five fairway, there's places you can see tree roots at the surface out in the middle of the fairway. Uh, you yeah. look at weak areas in the turf and you can just, you can see the large tree there and out away from that, there's weak areas in the turf. This machine could get run along about 15 <laughs> feet from the tree uh, City Arbor's even told me 10 feet away from the tree and it cuts those roots to where those tree roots aren't out there robbing the moisture out of the ground. Uh, we've yeah, got no, a I few greens and tea about, boxes where it's very critical. So, uh, I mean, there's there's a company we can pay to come in and do it. Uh, how, 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 how much yeah. does that machine cost? Uh, it's been a few years ago. I got a quote on that machine. It was Fifteen thousand, so you'd probably be looking at like at twenty now. I'm guessing. I I agree. It would be, it would be good. To have. I just didn't know what the calls were. Yeah. Because it also keeps from having the room. Yeah. I mentioned it to uh, yeah. Dave McGuire a few years ago. If the Parks Department would buy one, I sure would be happy to borrow it from him. So, but that hasn't happened yet. So. Uh, okay. Hey, Ron. Uh, this is Ron. This is Troy Outman. Hey, Troy. 
A, if the uh, golf division purchased it, I'm sure the Parks and Recreation Department would love to borrow it. I know. I bet they would. Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember when I talked to Dave about it. He says, yeah, that would be a good thing to have. But but it's uh, this was five or six years ago when purchasing anything was not a uh, not a good deal. So we had Sorry a good for, laugh about it. Sorry for trying to, to add humor to it. But if that's something yeah. that we want to move forward with, maybe it's a a joint purchase or maybe we can even talk to public works as well because they yeah. might need it from time to time so right yeah. um, and i know like dave said there'd be a lot of areas like in parks where <laughs> they have sidewalks that are damaged from tree roots so there would be there definitely be an advantage yeah we'll add that somewhere in just a second yeah thank you so number five fairway. Mike, you wanted me to add number five fairway to the That's right. That project. So are you talking about the the, the drainage ditch? You eliminate that I can't carry it over. Okay. That's number one. So bad. I want you to watch me to delete that. <laughs> Change that to a par five hole. What's that? Change. I I call it a par five hole when I play it. <laughs> All right. Um, so, so clean the legs. I've got that on here. I'm gonna look at that. I, I didn't know how to cross this out, so I'm I'm gonna already talking about. I'm gonna try to figure out a way to uh, uh, how to cross it out. Um, all maintenance, every course could use another full time position. Uh, that's again, I know that's been brought up several times. But that's something I'm going to add. Yeah, that's a lot to run for you here. Um, definitely needed and makes sense, but that's a lot to budget in. So I have to kind of work with you, see what that looks like, and see. I know our, our budget we go up a little bit for next year for staffing, but we want to add a mechanic, start trying to meet. Both the courses have about the same number of maintenance, full time maintenance. Um, yeah. Uh, well, we've got some open positions right now. But yeah. So. And is the mechanic a higher priority in your opinion than the second an additional maintenance? Plan? I think so, for sure. That would eliminate a lot of the struggles they have of having that one person. I think that would be more beneficial to me to look at it. So it's something I definitely will look at, but I don't know. That's going to be a down road. I don't know, probably. Um, scope codes, orange block. I think this would be good. I didn't know how to process it. I don't know. Can I have them down? Well, that's just the same thing you guys would recommend. I mean, basically, what it is, it's finished yet out there and get their equipment in. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's already up there. Uh, I think, Marcy, you could probably make this put them down here more as a, something to talk about so I didn't forget it. I definitely yeah. see. Here. So this, being my first year through this summer, seeing the program and how it works, there's a lot of changes in addition to what I want to make to next year. Um, we just have to make sure they're planned out before we try to execute them. So over the winter, we're going to talk a lot more about that. So 100% agree. There's not really a cost. It's just, just formatting, yeah. formatting the right way. Um, the last thing, infrastructure for electric cars. As we get to the end of this lease, the next lease, if we want to switch to all electric, which we're going to be forced by, I have a feeling pretty soon. Um, we're going to have to build infrastructure for those cars. Again, I'm going to have to go back and kind of do some. I mean, I don't know how to process it. I'm going to kind of turn from do we add indoor space? Do we add more kind of just covered space? How do we do that? So uh, I didn't really have time in the last couple of weeks to. I mean, that's going to be a big project here. I will do that. So, what what do you need? I mean, I get that understand when you say infrastructure for electric cars. Well, I got that understand the electric need for the car. Um, but car takes up the same space as your gas bus, right? So as far as where they go, they go in the same place. Yeah, they have a somehow to park them in. If you don't, if you start right yeah. now, a gas car, we can park them out here. We can park 50 cars out here and fill them with the gas. We don't need no electricity. We have to have electricity for all these cars. Right? They're all plugged in every night. Okay. So how do you, that's what I mean. So just the electric one, the electric one. It's just text, text doesn't even store all the cars inside. Yeah. 
Oh, outside. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, Matic has cards outside in a fence, outside, so they're no, they're, they're not inside. So, you have to have some kind of some something with electricity that's obviously the one I'm covering. Uh, I mean, the only way we can do it right now is to run extension cords out there. Obviously, you have to do that. So, uh, and I don't even know, you'd have to have somewhere to plug those receiver boards in. You can't plug 50 cards in one column. So, no, no. Um, yeah, um, uh, but yeah, that's what to figure out how it works. So each course would be different. So I'll kind of come up with a plan and cross that out. You know, so we'd like to have the parts inside wear and tear for theft, security, you know, all that. Like you you're being a... No, I just, uh, for an electric car, you you don't really need anything because everything is all on board. I mean, we have on board chargers and everything. Like I said, all you do is literally plug an extension cable to it. So if you have electricity and you can just run some conduit with some receptacles, if you've got 30 cards outside, and I'm asking you, I mean, but if you've got 30 cards outside, how do you run extension cords to 30 cards? You would have to do some conduit with some receptacles. I might not even have the average that are. Yeah, but yeah, it would, it would be on a separate breaker box. I'm assuming it would have more than one. Yeah, I mean, even the electrical infrastructure, I mean, we have to figure that out. So, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Not my world again. I'm just saying I need to research that. So, um, as far as time and number, yeah, research that, figure that out. So. And our lease term is four years, five, five years. So, yeah, so we have a five year project. Yeah. yeah. I'll probably put that toward the end of the plan. So, okay, well, those are the items that are on the list. Um, so, help me understand um, where is CLAP in all this? I keep getting requests for the license. What is, what is, what is wrong with that? I'm going to take millions of dollars to open up as a golf course. So, I can understand the signal is spending millions of dollars for nothing. Well, the, the irrigation, the bridges, but all that, the bridges, the trash, the golf courses. You have to turn it back into a golf course, even though the layouts say there's still a ton there. Um, they've already, I mean, there's other plans going on there. Okay. What are the city's plans? Because I saw it was a pretty big ticket item on the city budget. Yeah, I don't know. Let's be down there. I'm not. So probably, and I'll keep my head very well. So I know, and I, I know that's not going to happen. So, uh, reopening plan would cost millions of dollars. If I could jump in, if you don't mind. Yep. So let me, uh, let me turn it back up. OK. OK. So in regards to CLAP, the uh, reason why it was closed was a lot of different reasons. There was a lack of usage of the, of the golf course. It was losing money. A uh, major, major amount of infrastructure is needed to uh, what was needed to keep it moving forward. So since then, it's been closed. And now it's an active park. And currently, it's being used. Uh, by disc golf as well as cross country. Uh, a lot of folks are just exploring the park and, and appreciating the open space. Uh, the neighborhood is now has access to a green space where before they didn't. Uh, so we're getting a lot of positive feedback on that. Uh, there's a master plan that was created, but that master plan was pretty ambitious and, and obviously very expensive. Um, I am in the process of finalizing the Current design, we're going to be spending about five million dollars of uh, uh, from the capital improvement project funding to repair the bridges, um, as well as put in a playground, which is going to be a all inclusive playground. Put a dog park there, and add in a few other amenities as well. So that was the desire that we got from the community, and we should probably be breaking ground on those items at the end of the year, and next summer, we'll see some improvements to that park. In the meantime, we did see a lot of the folks go uh, that did use that, the, the, the few that were using CLAP, go to the other golf courses, which made it more efficient, as well as uh, driving some of the revenues that we needed at the other golf courses and cutting out a lot of overhead and we need to save that money uh, to address all the other capital needs at the other golf courses. 
Hopefully that answers your question. If I might add, funding for getting that property back to the city, even though they be everything that came to the cost of it. So before I was here. Okay. All right. So going through year by year. So the remainder of this year, um, again, I just put those few hours come with some of the kind of less expensive quick things that we could do. Um, sixty-five thousand, but we're gonna have a lot from there. So we could as we see how our budget plays out, we could move some of these out. And again, anything you don't agree with here, well, I just put this together as a starting point for us. So uh, we're getting close to six. Let's go through here. These are all three small items that I think we could do. But the T box again, that's going to be a long project. It'll be doing one or two at a time. Um, but I would like to get the target on that this year. So you have the hidden base for the tax in this at all? That's part of the hidden base. Or do you have to get back to the tax to add less simulator? Oh, so it's simulator. Simulator inside. That's already done. It's it's already done. done. Oh, yeah, that's in the process. And then I didn't want to put mats at tents on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Why do we have a bunch of sand and key boxes at the driving range? That's it. And back to the tent. We can do that. Sam has them, but have two horses. Yeah, they have them here. All right, so 2024 is going to be where we start going. Um, I'll put the total down here. So all these items added up to just under five hundred thousand um, dollars. Again, I only have sixty-five thousand in twenty twenty-three. We're kind of opened up with a lot more money than that. So um, a lot of these things potentially. I don't want to jump down, but we can move forward. Another thing to remember too: Point Hills equipment. If we get a bunch of that stuff, oh, oh, yeah. Um, if we get some of that equipment, it will eliminate some of the items up here. So it's kind of this may, this may change next week. I was just gonna say, so I was gonna take to do the audit and cross everything out. Uh, we're gonna send that send out the list when they get that one out of the search that are Friday, and then we gotta jump on it if we want. So um what's the bank motor? Bank motor it, it basically just models the banks of the big seat. Uh, running around the smart sides and all that. Yeah. So, um, we, I don't know, first started, you got a lot of people running stuff to the banks, the cons, the different things. So, especially in that. Um, okay. So, you, you did buy an attachment that kind of it's full line and it came off the side of the family. Yeah, they did a really good job. Yeah, that better. But, so kind of, I don't know the best way to do this, but you guys see me. anything here that don't think should be prioritized in 24 or anything not here. We'll go through each tab. So if there's something on the board that you think should be prioritized, we'll do it. But uh, we're doing the rocks and text on set on. Yeah, that worked. Well, one, the other one that we're about, yeah, would be next year. Oh, that's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, the giant rocks. Yeah, it's a different guy. Trees. Trees. What's up? Trees. Adding the trees or removing the trees? Don't do that. Just regular maintenance. It's not in the first two years, and you got some stuff to send part of the fall in your head. Yeah, I believe. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. Um, Yeah, um, again, that's one false ones. Got some missing cotton to figure out. Uh, yeah, I know the forest group, the top of the room, the constant cotton to figure out issues over here, especially if it becomes a safety issue, then it's something we can do, you know, get a hold of quickly. Um, and we're working through them. You got to talk to them to uh, create a lot of So, where is he saying about some of the truth of the world? Um, they just don't have the approves to really do it like they used to. So, yeah, it, it's unless it's a safety issue, yeah, they're 
Yeah, I know they're getting an hammer, but when they have so much work to do with them, um, I hope you can imagine what that we do have some of the issues. I may be stuck in it, they can't get to it, we need to kind of check it out. We can really get that process, so we can process that out. If it's something that is currently a safety issue, you know, let it process it out. Yeah. So 2024, and you guys seen the that turn around all kind of be on a case by case basis. So, and we're doing a lot of that in house. Yeah, right. Some of you know, let me go 2025 again, a lot of equipment, but that's where a lot of our equipment needs to be right now. So, we've got, and this is all from. From the centers of the point, we can kind of prioritize what their needs are. I did put the brick repair here in 2025. Uh, it's about a best guess, 125,000. Um, and we put that for that year, but that's another 200,000 dollar. 26. Um, again, the farther we get out, the kind of the smaller the list gets because we need a lot of the stuff right now. So a lot of it's the first two years and then it. And then at least you know what's going to happen. But uh, the bunker upgrade would be the big project for that year, um, 26. So we get to please speak up if you don't agree. I did 250,000 by the course of Virginia with a lot more bunkers. That would be used better than 200 with that course. And then we did another course. A year before that, for it was two hundred and thirty thousand. We did capital and concrete bunkers there. And I personally, I would like to get rid of bunkers that are out of play. If they're not really affecting me, don't come out there. So let's scrap the big guys up to do it. Twenty seven, again equipment, and then that's where I put the big range. Thing just to put it somewhere, uh, the range redesign and text and irrigation. If we get the irrigation and text, obviously we would want to add it at that time and, and do it all at once. So I wouldn't mind building bunk renovation yourself. I think you've got it. Some I can, I can put it down. Oh, you didn't? Okay. All right. um, 35, 200,000. So I don't, again, I don't know the best way to go about this, but what are your. Is there anything that you definitely think needs to be up to the top? Go to 2024. I mean, again, I don't know. I don't know who has to bless this and what process it goes through, but does it make any sense knowing that 2023 we probably haven't spent all the available funds to move some of those smaller tier yeah. items like the range dispenser sheds and stuff to go ahead and get them moved to 2023? Yeah. So, kind of my, my plan is we get a little bit farther in the year to make sure we don't get some crazy. 40 days of rain kind of deal and know that we're in the spot we're expected to be in. Then I'm going to put together a list of the projects. Maybe I'm just going to miss the list of this year, go to city council, ask for a budget adjustment, kind of lay out what those things are. And obviously I feel to you guys first, but um, there's a very, very high probability we could get more done this year than what I have, but I just don't want to Overall, be too aggressive. Fairly bigger project right, right. Gonna be on my priority and get it sure. or something. Sure. Yeah. I kind of what I was thinking too is if we could go through and prioritize each one higher level even in that year. So you know these five are the that's probably the ones when it comes to the next five or whatever. Yeah. I think the main thing right now is to capture all the stuff that needs to be done. All the equipment needs to be purchased, the main projects that we all agree that need to happen. Um, the priority side of it, I've kind of tried to do by year. So the most important thing is try to get those done up front. The bigger projects are the hardest ones. So something costs $250,000. Well, maybe a priority, but you have to have money. So it's where you get back into this deal. So I kind of like what you said, if we end up with Excess money, which we probably will this year, then we'll move one of the bigger projects up and then stay on track with this. And again, hopefully, this week we get the process we plan and I can knock off $150,000 of equipment. It's, it's very good chance. I think. Well, I don't think, I mean, 
in a, in a perfect world, let's, let's just wait a minute and say that somebody does come through. They bless us with some capital and throw the money that the mission would be on, use on your occasion. Oh. And everybody recognizes that's the biggest deal in the world. Then, then if they do that and we break through that wall, then in two years, can we go back with a capital improvement project that is bunker refurbishment at, at all portions? Or, in other words, is there hope that we could do that at some point with another big ticket item? Well, I can't. I can try. That's what we can do. I don't think there's so many factors to blame to that. Oh, sure. And again, with that CIP money, personally, I feel like the irrigation is, it keeps golf alive. Without it, it's going to be as Okay, it's gonna be a struggle. If it's just we want to make it, we want to improve the bunkers, make the sand better. When they're dealing with fire, and the Lord's God, plea, all that hits with, it's gonna be bottom to the bottom. Yeah, I feel like the irrigation is a little bit different because we some natural units that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, as far as the improvements, I mean, golf. It was set up as an enterprise run, which means that it, it's supposed to take care of itself. If the irrigation has kind of been put off for a long time because there was no money to spend, and then the management company that whole deal, they weren't spending money to make it way to go. So it's put us in a position where our backs against the wall to an extreme point. Well, if we could get that fixed, I think then it's our job to keep the all self sustaining way it should be. I agree. I think with the revenue that's generating those other things are a little bit, yeah, yeah, and I think that's. That's my job. It's our job to figure out. We got a repair on the fire. Well, I can't tell you, girl. It's so hard to do. Yeah, I, asked, I got here today. I asked Scott, what's he talking about? He said, I think he wants to eliminate triple bogeys. What? He just want to eliminate triple bogeys. No, that's not that. <laughs> That's the easiest fix in the world. Or she didn't yeah. vote for that. That's the most precise Here's the fix for that. Take one less blood, read it hard. No, I'm serious. We cannot get there. There's no, There's not a woman in town currently who can. And it's okay. Because oh, yeah. you can't carry it and you can't get her on your second shot of your land. <laughs> oh, 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 the easiest to fix if we're talking about this is uh, it's going to just blend it over over the weeds and cattails. Turn it into some kind of a water feature that's actually going to deal with it. I guess that would help to see my ball. Then you lose your way. <laughs> you're not going to find it. It just costs you four bucks to rent. Uh, you're right. You know, from an operational standpoint, that would speed up play. So many people dig around looking for bottom. Oh, yeah. yeah. Totally. Get drive through with the cart. Drive through with the cart. That's true. So back to this. We're at six o'clock. Oh, so I mean, you. you're sliding this big play. Oh, it's you don't need it. I hit the lead and then save immediately, so it was all good. Um, I don't know. That's a starting point. Does anybody have any any issues with this layout? It's going to be moving targets. We're going to make adjustments constantly. There's no way to. I don't know if we're going to make a ton of money if we're, everybody's going to put a plan up. We have no idea, but this is just kind of a good base to go by uh, something that I can show to city council to say we have a lot of stuff we need to spend. I think that's the nice thing about it. That's, it's really yeah. well worked, which is where we need to be. Yeah, and then I want to work on a transparent method, something on the website where people can look and see where the money is spent. Yeah. That's what I was just saying. We yeah. don't check boxes. Yeah. That's been one of the. Yeah. Yeah. I think part of that is part of marketing this because because when I look at that list and you talk to those golfers out there, they don't know daily squat about most of the things on this list. We're trusting these guys as our experts. So we have to figure out some way that we can't. I mean, you've done such a great job marketing and setting the decisions and projects, and we just have to continue over this because you know the fact that we bought a rough mower and get a lead squat, you know, not there unless it's a checkbox thing or we can just well, it's also Tell them what, tell them why. So it's, it's not say I bought a motor. I bought a motor, but here's how it's going to affect you. Let's go. That's how they care. That's yeah. All that. Yeah. Okay. Well, that took a lot of work. 
Yeah, yeah. So what was the overall six year uh, 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 yeah. With the eight million, it's seven eleven point six million. Um, take that out, it's three point six million. So I'll say that dollars plus here. It's already too much. Um, and that's there's a lot of other things I would like to add, but I would give it to much sure. really bad. So, and along the way, this winter we had two hundred fifty thousand dollars working, talking well. I mean, stuff's going to happen. Pop up, and when stuff happens in golf, it's very expensive typically. So, this is in a perfect world, nothing breaks. We just get to spend this money, but tomorrow, somehow, maybe we get to a phone call that hey, we, something in the world that's going to cost half a million dollars. There's a lot to be crazy. Yeah, I mean, there's cost to be So, when do you go talk to the council? Right. Sorry. Right. Yeah. 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 I mean, I want to stress I'll share. I think the main thing for me on Friday, I need to stress how good that we're doing, but how much we have to do. Like, I don't want to say we're making, making money in my little boy. I just think of that. I was just making money, but then it's spending a ton of money. So, yeah. Right. So, yeah. In the the meeting starts at nine. I don't We're also very vulnerable to the irrigation energy. Staff feeling pretty cool. Yes. Yeah. Just an update. We're going to add diversity. Okay. Well, if everybody's happy with this, I'm going to save it. I'll, I'll clean this up a lot and kind of get it more. I didn't want to do a lot of, let's tell everything got in the right place, but I'll clean it up. Um, I'll work on Signing a price to improve the last things. I'm going to look at seeing if I can find any grant money for that fund. Um, and I think it's capturing the instant. I'm going to add hey. sand bunkers to sand. Um, we can kind of cross it off the side for the areas that we need. We can identify that and then. Uh, can you get something? I want to get real serious on car pass, kind of identify how many feet in the worst spots, and then I'll have something else and all this out to be going. So, probably next week, to be honest. So, we get those things added in the market next to play this work car pass and kind of spread them out for the years. Then you're reading between nine and ten pounds. Can that be asked? Looks like it was a long time. It's the last one to the very Yeah, that's it. It was that's really that's why the zero was so bad. I know, but it's a cheaper way to go. <clears throat> Sound, it sounds strong. Thank Ron and Ron. Uh, uh, Ron and Ron. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Don't want that part of the Okay. What do you think, sir? I say we make a motion to adjourn and check out the starts. So, so make a motion to adjourn. I'll be here. Oh, all right. Everyone, thank you. Appreciate it. Grounds are first round second. We are going to adjourn. The best thing I'll do is ask you guys to let us know. Thank you.
Thank you. 